Welcome, lambs. Welcome to your midweek Wednesday episode. This is going to be a short episode once again, but this isn't the episode that I originally planned on bringing you, but I had to bring it to you. And when you hear the title, you'll know why. Memphis woman filmed five-year-old daughter giving women a Brazilian wax. You heard me. You heard me. Before we begin, I want to remind you that all my episodes are sponsored by my lambs in Patreon, patreon.com forward slash love and murder. If you want to be a lamb supporter, then join the lamb supporters club using any of the links below in my show notes. You could do it via Patreon, you could do it via Spotify, or you can do it via Spreaker. You do get episode extras, bonus episodes, and so much more. Patreon.com forward slash love and murder or any of this lamb supporters link in the show notes below. Now let's get into this midweek Wednesday. In a now deleted Instagram post, 30-year-old Jasmine Moss, who is a business owner, boasted in social media about what her child was doing. Quote, when I say I'm passing down deeds and LLCs to my kids, I mean that. Miss Chloe did her thing yesterday. She literally helped me wax 24 clients started from 7.25 to 5 p.m. She made a total of $744 and I'm going to put the money towards whatever her future dreams and aspirations are, end quote. So I I just want to make sure that y'all heard and understood, understood what I said. She is the owner of a bikini wax business. I'm assuming it just tells you the name of the business and I'm guessing she does bikini waxes, including other services. She had her five-year-old daughter there from 7.25 a.m. to 5 p.m. working. First of all, aren't there any child labor laws in effect? So you bragging that you have your baby working from 7.25 a.m. to 5 p.m. is already against the law. Second of all, you had her down in 24 women's crotches. 24 grown women's crotches. You had her down there doing waxes. Then you're going to brag that she made $744. Craziness, craziness. But there were screenshots circulating throughout, you know, the social media platform. And a lot of people called the Memphis police on this person. The pictures did show, and I saw the pictures, the the child was blurred out, obviously. Uh, It was a little, oh my God. At first I didn't know how old she was, but you just see this little girl in between grown women's legs working. So what it was, was she was spreading wax on the client's hoo-hahs. And then I guess she would rip it off. Whatever you do for bikini wax. In a statement released on Sunday, Memphis police announced that the agency is working with this, with the department of child services to investigate this matter. Quote, we can confirm that an investigation has commenced in this case. Pursuant to state and federal laws, we are unable to provide specifics about cases involving children and family, children and families we serve. Even though they are investigating it, she has been arrested and charged with child neglect and abuse. And she's currently being held in the Memphis jail without bond. Now, the other thing, what about the clients who allowed the child to do their Brazilian waxes? Because I got to say, if I go in for Brazilian wax, not that I've ever done that, too scared, different story. But if I ever went in for a Brazilian wax and out steps a five-year-old child, girl, boy, I don't care. And you're like, this is who's going to do your Brazilian wax. I'm going to say, uh, absolutely not. I don't even know if I'm going to stay in your establishment. If I do stay, it'll be something like I'll wait till you're available Uh, but I can't see myself staying and I would call 911. If I stay, I would call 911 and wait for 911 to arrive. That'd probably be the only reason I stayed. So people commenting on her post said stuff like, quote, I promise you I'm calling CPS in your area. I promise you that. Yeah, I agree. Craziness. Now, after she faced backlash for her post, she went ahead and not only deleted the post, but deleted her public Instagram account. Apparently she had two and she deleted both of them and she deleted both of them. However, that was too late. And the next day after she deleted it, the Memphis police shared a post on their account saying that they had, quote, been made aware of the images that are viral on social media of a minor performing wax on a nude female 
Please do not screen save or forward these images to law enforcement or anyone. Please do not download or upload these images in any way. This post is under investigation by law enforcement. Now, our Twitter account that had initially shared the images ended up being suspended by Twitter, but other accounts were active still. Uh, how did you share that? Did you even blur the child out or are you just sharing it? That's crazy. And this story literally broke yesterday, which is why I was like, oh, I have to do a rant on this one because absolutely not. So obviously I'm not going to share a picture of this child doing this, but you know what a Brazilian wax is. And I know you're not going to have your child in between some grown person's legs wax in their crotch. I don't even know what this woman was thinking. I don't know. I think she really thought this was something good. That's why she posted it. And I, I can't even fathom where her mind was doing this. And I'm glad she posted it because then we got to get the child out of harm's way. Are you kidding me, woman? So first of all, having your child in people's crotch. And second of all, child labor laws. You had her work a whole eight and a half hours. Eight and a half hours you had this five-year-old working. I hope the baby is with somebody with her family and not with anybody in her family who was applauding this nonsense. But I hope she's with somebody in her family that's loving. And because, you know, some of these children just get lost in the system. So I really don't want her to just go into CPS. But at the same time, I don't want her to be with somebody who's going to continue to abuse her in any kind of form. So I'm really hoping she has a warm, loving home that she's staying in. What do you think about that? I don't even know what poll to put up for that. Do you think she should be charged with both child endangerment and breaking child labor laws? Or they should just leave it at the child endangerment with child neglect? So that is the poll that I'm going to have for you. And still I'm hearing people are not seeing the polls on Spotify, even if it is done within the time frame. I don't know. You could definitely leave a comment below that would count also. So if you think she should be charged with the three counts of child endangerment, child abuse, and violating child working laws, put the number three there. If you think it should just be child endangerment and child abuse, put the number two in the comments below. And speaking of comments, let's go ahead and read your poll questions from the last midweek rant. So if you remember the last week's midweek rant was the South Carolina woman who stabbed her hun husband in the chest with a squirrel. And my question was, do you think her husband left her after this? And the three options were, yes, I would have. No, he's probably still there. And I don't know. And 100% of you all chose he is probably still there. I really hope for his sake that he's not. I really hope he thinks more highly of himself than staying with somebody that stabbed him in the chest with a gaping hole. If you remember what I reported, he had a gaping hole in his chest. And if he stayed after someone did that, because he, he went out and couldn't buy something on December 25th because everything was closed and you stayed, then you have more problems. You need to go get a counselor and help you help yourself. And that is all that I have for you in today's midweek rant. I definitely want to hear from you in this case. I want to hear what you have to say about this crazy woman who thought it was a good idea to have her five-year-old wax in 24 grown women's crotch. I can't even. So anyway, leave your comments below or go to Spotify and answer the poll question. And I will see you in the next rant. Bye.